welcome back to TCS Star Frogs. My name's Travis, and today I want to show you a new way to culture springtails. So it's not the clay method, it's not the charcoal method, and it's not the cocoa fiber method. This is actually something that I stumbled upon by accident, and so I'm very excited to share it with you. I actually think it could revolutionize the way that we grow springtails. Um, I haven't completely worked out all the kinks in this new method, but I wanted to share it with you guys, and hopefully in the dart frog community, if we all try this out a little bit and uh, kind of tweak it around, maybe we can figure out a way to grow springtails that's much more efficient and much faster than the other methods that we've been employing right now. So without further ado, let's go check it out. All right, so like I said, I completely stumbled upon this by accident. And what I did was I took an old fly culture like this that's still producing, but producing stunted flies. And the reason that I was using an old culture was I was trying to feed froglets. So I took the old culture and I took the lid off and kind of just laid it sideways in one of my froglet grow out tanks. And what ended up happening, I'd been throwing a bunch of springtails into that tank. I ended up populating the tank with springtails, but the springtails also went into the culture. Now, I hadn't realized how many springtails went into the culture, and maybe a week or so later, I ended up taking the culture out of the tank, and I put a solid lid on it. I think it was just laying around. So instead of the vented lid, I just ended up putting a solid lid on the culture, and I kind of set it aside and was thinking I'll clean it out later. Um, I usually clean out my fly cultures after I use them. And to my surprise, about a month later, I opened it up and it was just booming with springtails. So I started doing a couple tests and putting springtails in old fly cultures. And I would have about 50, 50 to you know 80% success. But most of the time they would work, but every once in a while I would get ones that just didn't work. Now I've been playing with this for a couple months, but in the last couple weeks I've been able to get about 100% of these new style springtail cultures to produce pretty large numbers of springtails. And I think what the problem was, which can also be a problem with fruit fly cultures, is if you don't add enough insects into the new culture at the beginning, then they don't have enough numbers to reproduce well in that new culture. So I'm still playing around with this and like I said if, if anyone wants to try this out and see if they can uh, come up with better ideas on how this would work then that's definitely something I think people should play with. I think that's something you should always do in this hobby is continue to grow your knowledge and try new things. So this was something that um, happened by accident and it happened to work out really well for me. I probably won't even go back to culturing springtails the way that I did before and the nice thing about this is once you have springtails in a culture like a fly cup, you can just tap the cup and get you know, springtails right into your tank. And you don't have to worry about uh, taking a piece of charcoal and tapping it into a cup or taking leaves out of a uh, container and tapping them into your tank. Um, so for me, this method works really well. And I'll show you guys um, kind of how well these produce for me. So hopefully this helps you guys out. I also wanted to mention that the type of springtail that I'm using are temperate springtails. So I believe the type that I'm using are one of the more common types you can find throughout the uh, continental US. And I haven't tried the tropical springtails because I just don't work with them. I've never had the best results with the tropical springtails and the temperate actually seem to get a little bit bigger and they seem to do well under a wider range of temperatures and a wider range of conditions for me. Uh, another thing that you guys might be worried about or I might get questions about is whether or not you get a lot of mites in this type of culture. And yes, I do get a fair amount of small mites in this particular type of culture, which really doesn't bother me. Um, I'm using these to feed out froglets and adult frogs. So if I get a couple mites in there, it's not going to hurt the frogs. The frogs love to eat mites. That's a large part of wild frogs natural diet so if they get some mites in there especially for the small frogs and froglets it's actually just going to benefit their diet in my opinion and it doesn't seem to affect the growth of the springtails or the reproduction of the springtails either and 
The only real disadvantage that I've found to this style of culturing springtails is that when I go to feed out the springtails, sometimes the coffee filters, which I use for surface area in my fly cultures, actually comes falling out of the culture. And so if you get them too wet, that can definitely cause problems. But basically, when I make the cultures, I just take an old fly culture that's, that's basically at the end of its life, and I spray it with a little bit of water just to moisten up the uh, media that was in there before. And then I add as many springtails as I have on hand um, to get that going. Probably, I would say somewhere in the range of 100 to 200 springtails to get that culture going. And then after about a month, that thing will just be booming. And so, um, like I said, I want to see what you guys uh, think about this method. I'd love to see some other people try it out and see what kind of results they get. Um, another thing I should mention is the temperature. Uh, my new frog room does stay a little bit warmer, probably 75 to 78 degrees. And I try to keep these springtail cultures in the warmest area of the room. And that seems to help them grow a little bit faster. So temperature could definitely have a play in how these work. But that's basically all the, uh, the information I have on these cultures. Thanks for tuning in everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a like. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, I would love it if you'd go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you guys have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please leave me a note down below in the comments. And if you guys have any uh, suggestions for future videos, please let me know and I'll try to get to those videos. I have been having some issues with my YouTube comments and with my account in general. So hopefully I can get that fixed. I haven't been able to reply to comments and that may just be a problem with my computer. I'm not sure. So if I don't get back to you guys, you can always email me or uh, contact me through my website or my Instagram or Facebook. And I'll leave all the links to those in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys have a great day.